do that through mindful breath um, and moving with our breath as we come into it. So I'd like you to come into your space. You may like to um, lay down on your back in Savasana or rest into a child's pose. So going into that position and gently softening your eyes. Taking five deep, relaxing breaths. Noticing your body, noticing your back against the floor, your legs or your heels against the floor, and your head supported by the floor. Feeling quite grounded. Noticing your body, how does it feel today? Acknowledge any discomfort you may have in your body and breathe into it and let it go. Notice your mind and acknowledge any distractions. Taking a big deep, deep breath in and breathing out deep breath out as you relax into any distractions. Thank you for being here today for yourself, for your friends and loved ones and each other as we practice yoga together, helping us to balance our mind and our body and to steady ourselves. Imagine yourself in your favorite space in nature. It may be lush and green, have beautiful old trees or a beautiful garden or the ocean or a mountain. Notice any feelings present in this place. You may be feeling love, gratitude, peace, calm. Acknowledge it and set your intention for the practice for today. Ask yourself why you're here. Think about what you would like to achieve through your practice. As we begin our practice, be aware of your body and take good care of yourself. Only do what feels right for you today. Each day, our bodies are different. Uh, just listen to what's happening for you and you can always rest into child's pose or into Sebastiana laying on your back at any point if you need to have a rest. Let's take a big breath in together and then a big breath out. Releasing what doesn't serve you today. And we'll do that throughout our practice. As a way of connecting with the spiritual side of the practice, I'm going to take a deep breath in and chant on. You may join me, but you don't have to, it's up to you. So take a big deep breath in. Gently rolling to your left side and then coming up to a standing position. We're going to start with a few movements of our body as we breathe in, lifting our arms up, raising our gaze into mountain pose and exhaling as we come up down. Just moving gently with your breath. Big breath in and big breath out. 
releasing all things that don't serve you today. As you inhale, lifting your chest and lifting your gaze. Taking two more of these movements. And bringing your hands beside you into summer city. We're going to do some twisting movements. I'll show you what we're going to do first. So as we inhale, taking our arms out to the side. And exhale, we're going to go to our right hand side. So bringing your hand across. Left hand side to the right hand side. And right hand behind you with the back. And inhale back out to the sides and exhale to the other side. So wrapping that right hand in front and the left hand behind and inhaling. Let's do a few more rounds using your own breath to guide your movement. Warming up our spine and tuning in with our breath. And bringing our hands back to heart centre. Remembering what our intention is for the practice today. We're doing a warrior one sequence next. So turning out your, your right foot slightly to the side and step forward with your left foot. As you inhale, bringing your arms up and bending your left knee. So your knee is over your ankle. And exhale, bring your arms back down and taking your leg back into a straightened position. Do four more rounds. Noticing the stretch through your hip flexor. And two more rounds. Big breath in, bending that front knee, and exhaling back. And one more on this side. And stepping back to the feet together. Just checking in, can everybody still hear me? Thumbs up if you can. Good, okay, good. So let's go to the other side. So turning your left foot out to the side and stepping forward with your right foot. Hips and chest facing forward. As we inhale, we're going to lift our arms, lift our gaze, and bending our right knee. And exhaling, coming back. Feeling that nice deep stretch through the left hip flexor. Let's go four more rounds. It's nice and slow, letting the breath. Guide your movement. And stepping back, it's giving your legs a little shake. We're going to do a warrior, warrior two sequence with a triangle pose next. So we'll start off with your Right foot turned out and your left foot stepping forward. Taking your arms out so you have your left hand out front, right hand with the back. And as you inhale, bringing your right hand down to reach your back leg and raising your left hand, looking up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, bringing that hand down in front of your left leg and looking up at your right hand. Holding here for three breaths, feeling that nice stretch and twist. And then one more breath in. And as you're breathing out, breathe in, come back up. And step back. 
and go to the other side. So this time, your left leg out to the side, taking your right leg forward, breathing in as you lift in your arms into warrior two, bending that front knee. Exhaling as you bring your right hand up, left hand towards your back leg. And exhale as you fold forward, bring your right hand down next to your right leg and taking your left hand up and looking up towards the ceiling at that left hand. Feeling that nice stretch and twist through the top of your right leg. Taking two more breaths here. And as you inhale, come back up to warrior two and stepping back. We're going to do one more on each side. So back to the first side. So turning the right foot out, left leg forward. Bring your arms up into warrior two. Exhale as you lift your arm and take your other arm down to the back of your leg. Exhale as you fold forward. Bring your left hand down to your left leg and right hand up to the ceiling. Holding here for three breaths. Feeling that it's a nice stretch through your chest. One more breath. And inhale, coming all the way back up again to warrior two, and then stepping back to summer city. And we'll go to the other side. So this time it's left hand, left foot out, right foot forward. Inhaling, raising your arms and then that front leg. Tipping your right hand back and left hand down. And then exhaling as you bring that right hand down to your right leg and looking up to your left hand. Staying here for three breaths. Bring that nice stretch through the legs and twist through your chest, looking up to your hand. And then inhale, coming all the way back up and bringing our legs together. Giving a little, little bit of a shake through that area. We're going to go into a couple of balancing poses next. So the first one we're going to do, we'll start in summer city with our hands down and then we're going to inhale. We're going to raise our arms and raise our heels. So I might just show you the side view so you can see the heels coming up. So we're inhaling, lifting our heels and lifting our arms, lifting our gaze and exhaling, coming back down. So let's do three more of those together. So taking a big inhale, coming up onto your toes, raising your arms, and exhale gently down. Big breath in. Spreading your toes so you're feeling nice and grounded. And last one. Giving your toes in a big little shape. And think about um, the three points of balance underneath your feet. So one near your heels, one just behind the little toe, one behind the big toe. Moving your hips in a little circular movement so that you can feel where those three points are and spreading your toes out. On the next one, we're going to inhale and we're going to lift up and we're going to stay there for five breaths. It helps to look forward in front of you a couple of meters and find a gazing point to help you to balance. So let's try this one. So inhale, lifting up through the heels, lifting up through your arms. Good, and finding your gaze point. I'm gonna stay here for five breaths. Last two breaths. And gently coming down. Well done, everybody looked really steady there. Great work. And we've got one more little balancing pose here. 
we're going to do a tree pose. So with the tree pose, we're going to bring our hands to our heart center. And we're gonna lift our right foot. You can bring it either toe just next to your foot, or you can bring it a little bit higher up to your car. If you're um, super balanced, you can bring it up a little bit higher. I'm gonna hold mine next to my calf here. So we're going to raise our foot and we're gonna stay here for five breaths. Just turning that knee out to the side. And again, focusing on the gaze point and focusing on having the foot really grounded, getting in touch with those three points underneath your left foot. And have two more breaths here. Everybody's lovely and steady, fantastic. And releasing that foot and giving our heels a little bit of a raise, going from foot to foot, and then going on to spreading out your toes on your right foot and lifting your left leg and your left foot, taking the knee out to the side. And we're going to stay here for five breaths. Finding your gaze point and steadying your breath. And two more breaths. Nice work. And then gently lowering your foot and giving that a nice shape to it. We're going to do some stretches through the side next. So we're starting off with our hands in summer in, in, at our heart center. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna raise our arms and raise our chest and our gaze. And then we're gonna exhale and we're gonna fold down to our right side and dropping our right arm down. And then inhale back to the center and exhale to the other side. Lovely stretch through the side there. And inhale. Just following your breath through the movement. And inhale the center. We'll go one more each side. So going down to your right side, feeling that nice stretch through the left hand side. Inhale to center, and then down to the left side and feeling a lovely stretch through the right. Okay. We're going to fold forward. So breathing in and fold forward as you exhale. And we're going to stay here for three breaths. Just feeling that nice counter movement for your back after doing the stretching. And then taking your hands forward, walking your hands forward and coming into your first downward dog for the day. Bringing your heels down towards the mat. Just walking your heels, feeling that nice stretch through the back of your legs. And then coming down to knees down onto the mat into a rest into child's pose. So bringing your feet together and your knees apart and walking your hands forward into a a rest into child's pose. We're staying here for five breaths. Noticing how your body is feeling. Noticing the stretch through your lower back and your upper back. And notice your breathing. Just relaxing and resting in this pose. Feeling the energy that you already started to generate in your standing postures. Taking two more deep breaths here.
and then coming up into a neutral position. So you've got your, your knees underneath your hips and your hands underneath where your armpits are. We're going to do some cat cows, inhaling and bringing your back arch up towards the ceiling. And exhaling as you bring your chest forward, lifting your legs, Getting some nice movement into your spine. Just doing a few more of these just with your own breath, just getting in touch with your body. Some nice curves in your spine. And then coming back into your neutral position again, we're going to do a little sequence of up dog and down dog. So with this sequence, we need to move your hands a little bit forward. With the up dog, you can have your knees on the ground and lifting your chest, lifting your gaze like this. Or if you feel a little bit more energetic, you can actually tuck your toes under and lift your knees off the mat. So you decide which one feels right for you today. And then when we go into down dog, we'll be tucking our toes and pushing up into a downward dog. So let's begin in the neutral position, walking your hands forward. Inhaling, lifting your chest, lifting your gaze. Exhaling, tucking your toes and pushing up into a downward dog and staying here for three breaths. And then come back into an upper dog and staying here for three breaths. And then back into downward dog. So we're moving our spine through this range of movement as we go stretching our legs and stretching through our shoulders. Inhaling into upward dog and exhaling into downward dog. Going through these two poses. Doing one more round of each. And then coming back into rest into a child's pose when you're finished. Taking five deep breaths in child's pose, having your feet together and your knees wide apart. Trying to bring your buttocks down towards your heels. And then releasing your body down to the mat, laying down on your front. We're going to do some heart opening. Can you still all hear me and see me? Just give me a thumbs up. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to place our hands just underneath where our shoulders are and we're gazing forward. As we inhale, we're going to lift up through our chest rather than push through our hands, we're lifting up through our chest, lifting our gaze, squeezing our buttocks and exhaling, coming down to the mat, bring your ear down to the mat and then inhale. Lifting up again, gazing forward and exhaling the other ear down to the mat. Inhale, coming back up. We do one more on each side. Really squeezing through the buttocks, compressing that lower back. Exhale to the side. And then inhale. And exhale to the other side. Having a little rest here for a couple of breaths. 
And we're going to go to the next movement where we're going to build on what we've just done. And this time we're going to be starting with our hands by our sides with the palm facing down. As we inhale, we're going to sweep our hands from the side to the front, squeezing our buttocks. And if you can, lifting your feet as well. If that doesn't feel right for you today, you can leave your feet on the mat. So let's start that one together. So inhaling, sweeping our hands forward, lifting our chest and lifting our feet, squeezing through the buttocks. Exhale, bringing your hands back by your side with your palms down and into the mat. Take a couple of breaths here. And then inhale again, sweeping our hands forward, lifting our feet off the mat and back to the other side, the other ear on the mat. And we'll go one more on each side, inhaling, lifting our feet and heels, and exhaling, ear to the mat. Giving a nice stretch through your neck as well. Inhaling, lifting up, and exhaling down to the other side. We're going to take that one more step further. This time we're going to bend at our knees, lifting our feet up. If you can reach back, reach back and have your feet in your palms or your hands. If you can't, you can have your hands on the floor. So if you can reach back to your feet, we're going to inhale and we're going to lift up and we're going to push our feet into our hands and staying here for three breaths. This is called boat pose. You look like a boat. And then exhaling, releasing your feet, releasing your legs to out to the mat and taking your head down onto the mat and resting for a couple of breaths. And then rolling over onto your back and we're going to laying on our back with our knees bent, feet on the floor. We're going to bring our knees up towards our chest Squeeze the knees in as we exhale and taking the knees out as you inhale and feeling the breath through your, through your chest cavity. So exhaling as you squeeze it in, squeezing the air out of your chest. Inhaling as you're taking your feet away. If you feel that you'd like a little bit more movement in your lumbar spine, Doing some nice circles in your lumbar spine, just releasing your lower back. And then placing your feet back onto the ground with your arms out to the side. We're going to do a little twist here. So bending our knees, we're going to drop our knees to the right side and look towards the left side. Staying here for one full breath. Feeling that nice stretch through the left side. Then inhaling to the center and exhaling to the other side. Nice gentle movement with your breath. Feeling that intense stretch down through the side and also through the chest. And at your own pace, one more from side to side on the left and the right side. Exhaling to the side, taking your gaze to the other side. And bringing your knees back to the center. This time we're going to build on it. We're going to bring our legs towards your right hand side. And we're going to extend the top leg out to the side 
and bringing that foot down towards the ground with your hand on the leg. Keep holding here for three breaths, doing that nice stretch through the left hand side. Notice how your body is feeling and notice your breath. And bending that top leg back and bring your knees back to center. And this time you're going to your left hand side. So bring your knees towards the left, looking to the right. Your right leg, straighten that out and bring the foot across if you can to, towards the floor. With your left hand on that knee. Staying here for three nice deep breaths and feeling the benefit of that stretch through your spine, loosening off through your ITB and your glutes. Two more breaths here. And last breath. Inhale as you bend both knees and bring them back to the center. And hug that into your chest again. As you exhale, bring your knees towards your chest. And inhale as you take them away from your body. This is called Apanasana. So it's the movement that we do to release a counter pose of the limbs and twists. Bring your feet down to the mat and allow your knees to fall out to the side. This is butterfly pose. Relaxing into this pose, having your hands on your heart center, or you might have one on your heart and one on your tummy, just in a nice relaxed position. I invite you to go inward. Taking some nice deep breaths here. Relaxing, feeling this, the nice stretch through your groin area. And tuning back into your breath. For three more breaths. Taking a big breath in and big breath out, releasing all this that doesn't serve you anymore. Gently bring your knees back to center. Rolling to one side and coming up to a comfortable seated position. You may have your legs out front or you may have your legs folded. If you have a cushion, you might like to sit on a cushion just to give your hips a little bit of elevation. Just a little bit more comfortable. And we're going to do some pranayama breathing, so alternate nostril breathing. So we did some of this last Monday. It's very good for um, balancing and for clearing out your lungs. Uh, it's quite a healing thing to do as well. So coming into a nice upright position with your spine, getting yourself nice and comfortable so that you can relax into your breathing. You're gonna take your, your right hand and you're gonna put your fingers out like a peace sign and bring that to your forehead. And then your thumb and your ring finger, we're going to use those to um, block our nostrils as we go through. So we start off, I'll, I'll talk you through this. So bringing your um, two fingers up to your um, temple, your third eye. Taking a couple of breaths in, deep breath in. And deep breath out. <sighs> Releasing all that doesn't serve you. Then bring your ring finger and your thumb into position. So we're going to bring the thumb onto your 
right nostril. You're going to breathe in through the left nostril. Pause. And then close off the left nostril and breathe out through the right. Then big breath in through the not right. Pause and holding the thumb over the right nostril, releasing the left nostril and breathing out through the left. So that's one round. And then breathing in through the left, closing the left nostril off, pause, releasing the right, exhaling through the right. Inhale through the right, closing that off, and exhale through the left. Let's go two more rounds. I'll talk you through one more round. Breathing in through the left. Pause, closing the left off, and out through the right, releasing the right through the thumb. Breathing in through the right, closing the right nostril of your thumb, and breathing out through the left. Go one more round using your own breath. And when you've completed your round, just bring your hands back to the heart centre. There's no rush, just finishing your own time. Nice deep breaths. We're going to rest into Savasana next. So I'd like you to lay back onto your mat with your uh, back against the mat and your legs can either be outstretched or if you would like, you can pop a bolster or a cushion or a blanket underneath your knees to, or bend your knees to release your lower back. Getting yourself really nice and comfortable with your hands out to the side, arms facing up. We'll do a little loving kindness relaxation. So getting nice and comfortable. Relaxing in your body. Relaxing through your body. Let your breath relax. Let it come and go itself. Soften your scalp, your face, your forehead, temples, eyelids, eyes. Let your eyes sink deep into their sockets. Relax your jaw, let your chin move towards your chest, soften your cheeks, let your lips part a little and soften around your mouth. Let your tongue rest comfortably inside your mouth. Imagine that the roof of your mouth is expanding. Swallow and relax your throat and neck. Let the weight of your head drop down into the support of the floor. Let the relaxation flow down into your shoulders, right down deep inside your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and sigh the breath out through your mouth. Softening more in your shoulders and softening in the chest. The relaxation flows from your shoulders now, down your arms and into your hands and fingers. Feel your whole body releasing into the floor, giving in to rest. Be aware of your back. 
Feel it being drawn down into the floor as you allow the muscles to sink down. As your breath goes out, keep sinking your back down, down into the floor. Now with each breath out, keep softening into your abdomen and chest. Be aware of your legs. Feel the large muscles of your thighs becoming heavy, falling down into the floor. The feeling of relaxation flows down through your knees, into your lower legs and into your feet and toes. Now your whole body is relaxed. You've dropped down into a state of deep rest. With each breath, breathe in softly and breathe out patiently. Let the quiet breaths nourish you with their softness and patience. Allow yourself to just be and to feel a sense of openness and spaciousness. As you breathe, be aware of your heart. Open your heart to yourself and gently bring love into your heart for yourself. Make room for yourself. Envelope yourself in loving kindness and compassion. Saying to yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be happy. Picture yourself with someone in your life who has truly cared for you. Picture them close in your heart and carefully say to yourself, may they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Allow this loving kindness to expand to everyone in our community. Fill the community with your care and kindness. Say to yourself, may they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Now picture yourself with someone who you're acquainted but don't know very well. For instance, someone you may see in a shop or in the coffee shop or in the supermarket, someone that you encounter regularly. And say to yourself, may they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Picture yourself with someone whose personality you find difficult to take. Any negative thoughts which come into your mind are allowed to pass, observe but without interaction. Picture them again and recall your compassion. Say to yourself, may they be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Now allow your loving kindness to spread to include the whole city that we live in. Imagine it expanding through the whole state, the whole country, to the whole world. Slowly envelope the whole world in loving kindness, slowly and gently. Let your love spread to all beings everywhere. May all beings be filled with loving kindness. May they be well. May they be peaceful and at ease. May they be happy. Allow yourself to just be and feel a sense of, sense of warmth, openness and spaciousness. Taking a few deep breaths, reflecting 
on your intentions for the practice today. Noticing how you're feeling, how your body is feeling. Notice how your mind is. And take the intention to bring that feeling and those thoughts with you for the rest of the day and the rest of the week. Gently rolling to your left side, taking a few deep breaths. When you're ready, coming up to a comfortable seated position. Just feeling the energy from your practice and coming back into your space and into your room, being aware of the sounds outside the room and the sounds inside the room. We'll finish your practice with a deep breath in and breathing out to Breathe out anything that doesn't serve you anymore. And I'll finish the practice with the chant of Om to close off the spiritual side of the